everyone, it's Hunter and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, it is so nice to meet you. Today's video, we are going to be talking about all of the books that I own on my Kindle. If you guys don't know, I do a lot of borrowing of books through my Kindle, either through the library or from Kindle Unlimited. So I don't spend a lot of money on Kindle eBooks. Because of this, I do not own that many books, but when I do, it is because it was free and it looked interesting, or it's because there was a Kindle deal of the day, or it's a book that I really, really love and felt like purchasing it. These days, I, if I'm going to purchase a book, unless it is a Kindle deal of the day, I usually just buy a physical copy of it because if it's one that I really, really love, then I'm probably gonna wanna own a physical copy of it. But um, a lot of times there are Kindle deals. I get an email every day with books that are on a deal and occasionally there will be websites that tell you about free books that are available. That you can just literally like have for free and I really love those. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you everything I own. This includes ARCs, so advanced readers copies that I've received from publishers, which is so nice. I love that I have the opportunity to do that. So I thought I would just go ahead and share with you guys what I have on here. So without further ado, if uh, you have not already, I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel down below. I try to make videos, book videos once a week. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. First, we have The Wedding Season by Katie Birchall. This one doesn't have a cover because it's an ARC, so it doesn't ever show up. So actually, whenever an ARC is on my screen. And then we have The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. This is also an arc. And All the Dirty Secrets by Aggie Blum Thompson. I actually have read this one. This one is new. I downloaded it last night. Oh, it's opening it. So there's that. This is what it looks like whenever I don't have a cover. It's usually just says uncorrected proof at the top. And then it says the, the title usually and the publisher. So there's that. And then let's scroll through. The This is a library book. That one was a library book. That's a library. That's a library. This one I do own is Finding Perfect by Colleen Hoover. It's just a little novella. So I bought it. It was like $2.99. This one is another arc. It is Real Bad Things by Kelly J. Ford. I just barely started it, but I don't actually know what it's about. And then there's Maybe Not by Colleen Hoover, which is another novella. So I've read that one and it was like $2.99. Then I have this one, 14 Ways to Die by Vincent Rao. And that one was a deal of the day. I think it was like $2.99. Next is another arc. It's Six Days in Rome by Francesca Giacco. I'm not sure if that's properly pronounced, but there's that. And then the next one I own is Her Dying Day by Mindy Carlson, which is another arc, which is why it doesn't have a cover. A couple more that are art and then I promise I'll be done with the art. So next we have Local Gone Missing by Fiona Barton. Josh and Gemma Make a Baby by Sarah Reddy. Although this one does have, uh, this one has already come out. So it should have a cover on it whenever I like turn the screen off. Meet Me in the Margins is already out and that one is so good. That's another art. Dream On by Angie Hockman. I have not read yet. And Hashtag Follow Me for Murder by Sarah E. Burr. It's another one I own. Next is, so this is Christmas by, I think it's Tracy and Dream, the checkmark covering it up, but I read this one at Christmas time. Then we have this one, The Fixer Upper by Lauren Forth. I, and I don't know what that one's about, but I have opened it before, so that's why it says there's 3%, but that's another art. And How to Fake It in Hollywood is another art. Another one I own is Blackout by Angie Thomas, Ashley Woodfolk, and Nicola Yoon. Actually, it's a couple of different authors, but this looks like something that was really interesting, so I definitely want to read it. So I purchased that. It was a deal of the day. Another one I own is Duke Actually by Jenny Holiday. I bought a bunch of holiday books around Christmas time, so Duke Actually by Jenny Holiday was super cute. Always in December by Emily Stone, A Magical New York Christmas by Annie Hughes, The 12 Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayless. Me in London by Georgia to follow Nick and Noel's Christmas playlist by Cody Hall. None of these, these had all just come out around the time that I was reading them. So that's why I purchased them. Those are from the library that I haven't gotten rid of yet. Next, I own the first four books in the Bridgerton series. There's The Duke and I, The Viscount Who Loved Me, An Offer from a Gentleman, and Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. I have read all of the series, but I only own the first four and then I got the others from the library. The next one I own is Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. That was one of those that I bought around the holiday season. Next is A Perfect Hours, which I actually have not read yet, but I bought this one around Christmas time as well. And so like I said, I haven't read it yet. As you can see, I get a lot from the library. These are all ones that I just haven't like properly returned to the library. I own this one. It's a 12 Days by Carla Doyle. It was a really quick, sweet, it says it's a novella, so it was pretty short. This one is London Brep, and this is actually the whole series, I think. It's books one through three. And I got this one for free. So I have no idea what it's about, but it looked interesting. So the cover did. So I decided to download it. Next is Good as Dead. I do own this one. Um, if you guys don't know, Kendall has this thing called First Read that you can use when you are a Prime member. So I own that one. And then I also own, um, next I own A Villa in Sicily, Olive Oil and Murder. That one was really cute. It's just like a cute little cozy mystery and it was pretty short. And then Her Last Breath is another one that I own and that one was a Kindle First Reads. Ta These Toxic Things was a Kindle First Reads. And then we have Steal My Heart by Heather B. Moore. That one was free. And then One Holiday Kiss by A.M. Cousy. That one is also, that was a free one. Let Me In by Adam Nichols was a free one. The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. I don't know why I haven't read it yet, but it's there. And I'm gonna read it soon but I did 
did purchase that. A Murder in Paris by Blake Pierce is one that I own. I think that one was free. Um, How to Find Love in a Bookshop and The Cheerleaders were both um, Kindle deals of the day. So I got those for like a two, one or two ninety nine. And then this one is Mistakes You Make or Mistakes Not to Make When Avoiding a Rake. This cover is so hard to look at. And then Love Struck in London. I have read that one. This, these were all free. Melinda Colt, Dare Game, all free. Sweet and Sassy, a rom-com series anthology. That's pretty cute. I haven't read it yet, obviously. I haven't read any of these, but that one was free. Claimed by a Viscount by Anya Cade. That one is was free. Missing by Adam Nichols was free. Following You by Leto Natel. That one was free. Thing Kill by Adam Nichols. A Deal with the Earl by Sadie something. I can't see her, um, the author there. Then I have A Family Blessing by Carolyn Arson. And then Long Lost by James Scott something. I don't know what that one is. Um, Left to Die by Blake Pierre. Finding Home by, I can't see the name, Jackson by Hope Ford. Um, Murder in the Manor. Seaside Harbor by Fiona Grace. He Loves Me, He Loves Me Not. Nobody Else But You by Claire. I can't see the name. <laughs> the Perfect Wife. Wife by Blake Pierce. There's lots of Blake Pierce ones that are free. Um, Beauty and Broken Pieces by Catherine Cowles. Um, if She Knew by Blake Pierce. Sweet Beginnings. Love Happens by Susan something. I can't read the whole name. There's so many free ones that I have. And then I can't even read all of these titles. I think this one's called Marked. This is Identical Death. Dawn and Deception Unbound. Book one uncovering maybe that says Lila and then Falling for You by Leanna Morgan, Bad to the Bones by James Harper, Dark Path by Melissa Miller, Too Clever by Half by Will something. This one is a it's by E.L. Todd but I don't know what the um the series is. The Secret of Seaside. This one looks like a cozy mystery. Royal Heartbreaker Complete Series. Before He Kills by Blake Pierce. Lots and lots of Blake Pierce on here. Get Lucky by Lila something. Clover Park Series by Kylie Gilmore. Lazy Love by Kristen Osborne. The Second Chance in by Susan Halter. The Disappearance of Lady Edith by some name I can't see. It looks like it's maybe Christina McKnight. Hidden Deep by Amy Patrick. Last Resort by Jill Sanders. Something in the Air by Jenny Gardner. When Love Comes by J.H. Croy. All Good Deeds by Stacey Green. and Perfect Chemistry by Mary Farm. Don't Let Go by Michelle Lynn. A Kiss for Christmas by Melody Grace. Birching His Bride. I can't read the name of of the author. Scraps of Paper by Catherine Meyer Griffin. Sleep with Paris by Juliet. I can't see the name. Someone Else's Daughter by Lindsay Lanier. Murder in the South of France. Beneath by Maureen A. Miller. And then I own the audiobook for The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. Someone We Know by Sherry Lapina. So I've, I own that. The, those are like all of the ones I got for free. And then some others. I own this one. Choose Me by Gary Braver. It doesn't say new or red so I'm not really sure what that's about. Another one I own is is, um, Beneath Devil's Bridge by Laura Ann White, and then also um, The Woman in the Window audiobook by A.J. Finn. Also Drown Her Sorrows by Melinda Lee. Some others I own are The Psychopath, which is a true story, Mary Turner Thompson, Not One of Us by Debbie Herbert, The Brothers of Auschwitz by Malka Adler, I Purchased Losing Hope by Colleen Hoover, Hung Up on Hadley by Teresa Paolo, and this one was um, a free one, Colton by Olivia Sands, that one was a free one, The Sweet Taste of Sin by Amber Casey, that one was a free one, and then Get Out of Your Head by Jenny Allen, I did purchase that one, and then I have the entire Giver series, so if you've read The Giver, there's The Giver, Gathering Blue, and The Messenger, um, all by Lois Lowry, and there are four books in the series, but I have only read three of them. And then I own A Thousand Splendid Sons, which is my absolute favorite book of all time. I've also owned One Day in December by Josie Silver. I just realized you can't even see what I'm doing. One Day in December by Josie Silver, which is a super cute book. A Place Called Fear by Keith Houghton. I do own that one. Drowning with Others by Linda Keir. I own that one. One Million Followers, How I Built a Massive Social Media Following in 30 Days. I accidentally clicked the Button. Um, how I Built a Massive Social Media Following in 30 Days, YouTube Secrets, I own that one. And then of course we have the Bible and then Influenced Building Your Personal Brand in the Age of Social Media. And then I have the Audible um, version of Room by Emma Donahue and then Dictionaries. And then I don't even know what this is. So those are all of the books that I own on my Kindle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was mostly just me listing stuff. So I hope that you enjoyed it. But I know I said I got a lot of them for free. I will see if I can find the link to the website that I get deals from every day because I get them in an email every day. Let's see, where's today's? Okay, it's BookBub. I will try to link it down below, but it's your ebook deals. So like today's, I'm not going to probably buy any. I only buy them when I see one that I'm interested in. But like the first one is Undercover Witch Academy first year. That one is free. The Neapolitan Novels Boxed set is $3.99. Um, and sometimes there's more, but like e. 
Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Okay, so Tuesday. Let's see what Tuesdays were. The price for peace was free. The Chicken Sisters um, was a dollar ninety nine, and I just kind of scroll through those. And some days there are books that I'm interested in. Some days there's not. Um, but I will try to link it down below so you guys can sign up for that if you're interested. I don't get any commission or anything, but if you guys are interested in that, um, I thought it might be fun. Like I said, I get most of my books from the library or from Kindle Unlimited. And also my friend Kayla, she has a bookstagram, and she like when she finds free stuff, she shares it on her Instagram story. So I will. Link her Instagram down below so you guys can check that out um, and just like keep an eye out for whenever they have free books but she's actually the one who sent me a link to a bunch of free books one day and I downloaded like a hundred of them so anyway that is all I have for today's video so I hope you guys found it interesting but yeah that's all I have so I will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>